All right, Z4, uh, you know, I was over here watching my man Randy on auto auction free bills, but uh, let me bring up my file. And I got a actual uh, factory repair manual. I'm trying to get it right here on the screen here. Which I picked up a link from legit street cars and um, I think it was like 10 or 12, 20 bucks, something like that. And it has the actual manual that you get with the car. And it has a uh, the repair manual. So going down to here, this is for 2003, but the 2003 and four are probably pretty similar. And uh, it has a wiring diagram. So um, we're gonna look at the exterior lights. I'm gonna show you what I think are the two devices that could be the corporate, the culprit for why your turn signals are not working. I mean, I guess it's three things, but so your hazards don't work, nor does your turn signals so uh, let me see if I could get to the right one this is still engine this has all the wire diagrams for SLK uh, 320 here and this is talking about ECU okay so this talks about exterior lights this is where we're getting to here um, this is talking about the illumination control module the headlight switch um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, <laughs> but I know I was talking about in the comments about that uh, SOS module, and that's this Tele A control module. There, this may may not be what's causing the beeping, but uh, yeah, I don't have one in the car to really show you because I ripped everything out. But um, there, there's a computer underneath the driver's seat. And basically it's for when, it's like OnStar for Mercedes Benz in a sense. So, um, let me bring it down here. So that's all tied to the car and everything like that. And that, that could be something that's, that's actually causing the beeping, but you, you will find a, a button in the actual, where the armrest is. Um, but let's go, let's keep going. There, there's another one talking about exterior lights, okay. And um, here, this actually shows the hazard switch, so. All right, so let's just deal with the hazard lights and the actual turn signals not working, okay. So the fuse 35 that's in the engine compartment to the left rear, which you pull and you say it stops beeping, but you know, so we know it's getting power, okay? So I would think that this part's good. And uh, basically from that fuse, you know, I'm still talking about the turn signals and the hazard lights. That uh, there's a red and yellow wire, that means it's solid red with a yellow stripe, okay? That goes to the hazard switch. And if you look, let's see where my mouse is here. Um, this whole box here, this whole box here is the hazard switch, you know? That's that red button that's in the center console. And see the hazard switch controls all the exterior lights for the car. So if your, you know, turn signals don't work and, and, and on the, the door mirrors and in the front, and in the back because there's a set of two for each one it looks like that then that this would explain why but the hazard switch like i was saying controls all the exterior lights even kind of controls i guess it the interior lights right here kind of go through it too but it's not part of a switch it, it looks like it you know i don't know i have to look up what this is but everything else yeah, it is part of a switch for the interior lights too, but everything else has a switch. So what it is, there's a ground. This brown wire, all the, and you know, forgive me because I'm holding this camera, but the brown wires in the car are usually a ground, okay? 
So either one, um, you need to pull the trim off behind the hazard switch to access the wire harness, okay? And I would check for 12 volts on this red and yellow wire, okay, back to ground. So I would get a meter and I would put, you know, my red wire here and my black wire here and see if I get 12 volts. If you do not get 12 volts, that explains why this is not working. You need to figure out, okay, am I losing my 12 volt positive here or am I losing my ground here? Is this not connected or whatever? Or is it something internally in the heart, the hazard switch that is causing this thing to not work because this is what controls all the turn signals, okay? The, the relay that I was talking about is here for that I put in the wrong relay and this is what, when I hit the key fob, that it actually flashes the parking lot lights. So, you know, from, you know, this point over, let's see where my mouse is here. You know, this black and green wire controls the right side of all the parking lights, you know, the front, the door mirror, the back, and you know, this black and white wire controls the left side, okay? It just hits this and hits the left side, the front, the mirror, and the back parking lot lights, okay? So, and this is all part of the switch. Um, see, that's the turn signal switch here. So, and basically, the black and green, let's see, that goes through the turn signal switch. But see, okay, okay, I got it right here. This black and blue wire here comes from the hazard switch, okay? So what it looks like is that this ground grounds here, which would actually turn this into a ground and it starts closing all these switches here. It closes that switch. You know, when you press the button, it closes this switch here. It, it turns all these switches on at the same time. That's why all your lights start blinking on and off the car. So if you're closing all these switches and you got this black and blue wire here, that's going to turn your turn signal lights on at the same time. So it must, let's see, it, that may be sending maybe a ground to that to do both of them at the same time. It's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's kind of like hitting the key fob in a sense. Okay, I got a low battery, so I gotta hurry up. This is the light bulb that, that actually, when you press the red button, it, it lights up the hazard switch, okay? So, an easy way to see if you got power to the hazard switch is to press the button and see if it lights up red. If it doesn't light up red, then you need to make sure you got power here first and then I think somehow in here it must have some kind of timer you know to uh, I don't know if it's built in the switch or something else that it you know keeps blinking them on and off every so often in a sense so the first thing to do is to start to make sure you got the power at the red and yellow wire then make sure you got ground a good ground at the brown wire okay then you know from that point on it goes to a Can you open this? Yeah. It goes to the actual side uh, fuse panel. And this is they call it illumination control module. This is on the driver's side next to the fuse panel. And um, this has its own circuitry built in. So if the ha it's either a hazard switch or this left side fuse panel, it, they call it illumination control module. It's on the driver's side, like the, the, where the fuses are. That is always, it's on, it's where you turn your, your turn, your parking lights, lights on left or right, you know, you can turn it on your headlight switch, this, this thing here. So that could have an issue in it. I mean, that, that could be cause of your hazards and your part, your turn signals not to work too because it has to go through this. So, 
you know, you may want to look at that. I mean, I doubt you got a bunch of fuses blown. I mean, I, I figure you probably would have checked that first, but you may want to make sure that, um, you know, if you get back to the back of this, you should have this red wire should have 12 volts on it. You know, the pink and red wire, when you turn the actual car on, should have 12 volts on it also, the way I'm looking at this here. Um, we could go up a little bit. You know, cause it looks like, yeah, the pink and red wire here, it's gonna be hot on, on or start, okay? The red wire is going to be hot at all times, okay? So, that should be 12 volts, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's a, something else to check make sure you, you're getting power to it. You may have an issue at one of these terminal blocks. I don't, I don't know, you know? So, you, it, troubleshooting electrical is just, you just start at the beginning and you just keep tracing your way back down until you find out where you're missing your 12 volts. You know, so you may... Uh, what I could do is probably get an actual, um, you know, test light and show you how you ground it, and you know, you you would check for power down the line, basically in a sense. You know, it, it doesn't help that I have half the car apart right now, so it's basically kind of hard because I got to put the car back together. But I would think that all your turn signal, you know, your switch. I mean, I would think all that should be fine because if you're, you would know if your hazards. We're only cutting on a couple lights, then you know you know that okay. Well, go to the actual turn signal switch. You know what I mean? If if your front and your backs are, you know, like your your, you know, well, no, think about it. The turn signals will still blink on and off. The hazards. Let me look at this one more time. Yeah, so uh, I would check for power behind the actual hazard switch. Like, press the button and see if your lights are red. Then check up, check power behind the hazard switch to make sure you got 12 volts. I think maybe the relay that's next to the relay that I was talking about in the first video may be part of the lighting circuit. But I had to put my car back together to kind of test that theory. But... I kind of remember taking the other one out and having known my exterior lights working. But I don't see that on the wire diagram right here. But it could be that, you know, it's maybe the 230 SLK 230 to the SLK 320 are definitely wired differently, you know. And you definitely got to be a little bit careful with using the comfort control module because that's probably why I blew one of them before because I probably put in one from. A 230 from a 320, a 320 into a 230. Anyway, um, you know, it's hard to kind of diagnose stuff without, I may have to FaceTime you or something like that. It's kind of help you walk because it's easier for me to just grab a test light or a meter and I could just check for power. So like, like I said, you just check for power, you know, at your fuse. You know, you know the fuse is good because it's, it's making the car beep. And then you just gotta check for power at the switch, you know. And then you check for power at the, you know, you had check for power at the turn signal, stuff like that. You just go down the line until you find where you're missing the power, because obviously something is, you know, losing it. It could be a ground though. It could be a ground just loose or something. I don't know. Has has the car ever been worked on before? I, I don't know. You know what I mean? Has it ever been taken apart or had any issues? You know, uh, just let me know, man. Hopefully. You know, we can figure this out, but it may be just easier just to FaceTime me because then I can see what you're looking at and kind of see what you do have power on, what you don't have power on, and kind of walk you through that. Because, like, that's how I, ch I check for, like, the actual, um, uh, the door mirror motors. I check for power at the switch that, you know, tells the door mirror to move. And I was like, okay, I got power there. Then I pull the door panel apart and I pull the plug off where the door mirror is and then I put my test light on there and every time I hit the switch I can see it lighting up so I'm like okay I know I'm getting power to the door mirror itself so then the only thing left is a door mirror motor if the door mirror doesn't move you know the mirrors don't move in and out up and down then it's got to be the actual motor in the mirror on the door 
So that's the last thing that has to be replaced on the passenger side because the driver side works. So I know that's all it is. I got a, a, a mirror motor. I just need to put it in. I ain't, you know. One of these days, I get some time, I'm gonna jump on that. I'll make a video of it. But that's how I troubleshot the electrical issue was I started, you know, you start at the fuse, then you may have a relay, and then from the relay, you got a switch, and the switch controls the device. If it's a motor, a, a, a light bulb, or whatever it is, you know what I mean? That's all it is. That's, that's how simple electricity is in the car, you know what I mean? It's just that it's easy if you've got a test light, and I'll probably show a little video how to use a test light and then go from there.